All right, hey guys, we're uh, coming to you from the farm out here in Texas today. Uh, I think the point of this video is just to do sort of a, a update, a life update. We realize that some of our videos that are coming up of more of our adventures uh, are going to be, I think a lot of people would ask questions, so we just wanted to clear it up before we put those videos out there. Yes, so here in the near future, we are going to have a different feel to the YouTube channel. Um, we've done a lot of family vacations and riding side by sides and just kind of me getting used to editing videos, which has been really fun and uh, I'm enjoying learning a new skill set. But that kind of leads us to where our channel will be going hopefully in the future and kind of why we decided to do this update for you guys. So we have come up with a new life journey that we are exploring and we kind of want to elaborate a little more on that. So we have decided to put the farm up for sale. It has been for sale since November and just kind of the times lay of the land as it is right now it's currently march well almost march yeah <laughs> even though we're in i'm in long sleeves it's actually it's <laughs> february 28th so tomorrow's the 29th and then we'll be in march um yes yeah, so we put the house up for sale in november uh and kind of to go into that um so back in august we i came up with the idea uh, to possibly leave everything behind and move on to a catamaran and go on a adventure somewhere in the world, <laughs> uh, either the Caribbean or the South Pacific, depending on where we get the boat. Uh, we came up with this. I, I came up with this idea back in August. Introduced April to it. Um, and what did you think about it? you're crazy oh my gosh we can't sell everything what about the kids and school and family so definitely all the normal reactions were had um conversations were had how'd you come up with this um he showed me some youtube channels and youtube channels that have families that are doing exactly what he's talking about uh, so the more that i kind of did my own research and better understood the point of it all and that it is possible for a younger family uh, we have homeschooled before in the past so we are excited to explore that option again the kids are equally excited and on board um, i did my research first after he brought the idea to me before we kind of brought the kiddos into it but they have also watched a lot of the youtube families to get a feel for it as well and then you can tell them about our yeah we recently program. went and kind of well we recently went and got the kids on some boats uh here in the Kima area it's kind of the closest uh area to us that has sailboats access to the gulf and stuff like that so we took them got off got them on some boats they're super pumped um but yeah so obviously this idea of an adventure is not a one-off idea this is not something i came up with uh, this is something that I was um, introduced to through YouTube, through watching YouTube, bored at work, bored at the house, whatever it may be, watching YouTube, got hooked on it. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you, if you're watching this video, if you haven't, don't know the family, Sailing Zatara is a channel. Uh, they're huge, uh, awesome channel. They do great. Renee and Keith are, are awesome at explaining different things, super informative. Um, and so they also have a, a organization, a group, a course called Blue Water Cruising. So when I brought it up to April, she was like, no, you know, she wasn't, she didn't really understand it. So watching YouTube, she still had so many questions. And so did I, because YouTube doesn't show a lot of the the day-to-day the -day stuff that goes on with the Blue Water Cruising lifestyle. The logistics. So I, I, he's more of the dreamer and I'm more of the numbers and logistics person. And so although it can look amazing on YouTube and everyone can edit videos to their heart's desire and make it look movie quality and a certain kind of way, 
Um, I wanted to know the other stuff. I wanted to know the behind the scenes. I wanted to know the finances of it all and how it is made possible for a family of four uh, that's not retired. So this program, Blue Water Cruising, absolutely 100% tells you all the behind the scenes stuff. The man behind the curtain, they show you all that stuff. Um, and that to me was a great way to introduce to this, this kind of lifestyle journey versus just, oh, hey, we're just gonna go do this and hope it figures out and maybe we'll watch a couple of how-to videos along the way, but no, that, that's not my personality. I needed like a checklist and um, the organization of it all. So this program, since August, we've been a part of and it has been so in, enlightening to learn as much as we have yeah and they take you from i mean the beginning of just um, imagining yourself out there and sort of what it takes to you know you're selling everything or you've sold everything now you're looking to buy a boat they help you with that it's the brainchild of keith whitaker who's the the the, the father on sailing zatara and a guy named chris uh i can't remember his last name right now i feel terrible it starts with a b he's a canadian he also had his family out blue water cruising in the uh, South Pacific, French Polynesian, for a number of years. Uh, I think currently they're in Indonesia. But, but anyway, that's sort of where we've decided to pull the trigger and where we've gotten the confidence to embark on this new adventure. Um, hopefully we can do some more stuff with the Blue Water Cruising uh, course, community, podcast. they got a bunch of different things. Hopefully we can do more with them in the future, obviously once we get on a boat. But, so just to give you an update so far, so the next couple of videos that you'll be seeing is, uh, I think the next one will be, we go to the Miami Boat Show, which was just not too long ago. Uh, Where we got to meet up with our Blue Water Cruising community and meet these people face to face that we've been doing Zoom calls with for the last six, seven months, which was phenomenal to just get to be around a collective, like-minded group because... I'm sure if you're watching this, you're going, what in the world? What are they up to? This is so crazy. They're always up to something. And that's so true. And that's why we have kind of kept this close to the chest. And we haven't told a lot of people because it, it is out of the box. And I, I understand, but it's not your life. It's our life. And so we've, we've been trying to figure out a lot of the details. So like we said, we've got the house up for sale. I guess kind of the plan right now. So moving forward, we've got the house for sale. Step one is to sell the house. Well, step one was to get April on board and the kids on board. <laughs> Accomplished. Done. Step Check. two is to sell the farm uh, in which we will use that money to purchase the boat. Uh, it's currently for sale. Um, so we're just waiting on that right now. We're kind of in a holding pattern. So the next couple of videos we'll have to do is sailing. After we sell the farm, we'll be moving into our camper, which I'm sure you've seen in some of the videos. Uh, we have a 45 foot fifth wheel toy hauler so two bedroom i mean well kind of two bedrooms two bathrooms and then a loft for our son porter yeah so we'll be moving into that uh the kids will be finishing out this year in school uh hopefully by the summer we've sold the farm we're living in the camper we're living in an rv resort close by uh it's a really nice resort lots of amenities so we'll be doing that while we look for a boat and it's actually on Lake Conroe, so we'll get to kind of start experiencing some things, having access to the lake as far as just paddle boarding. We want to get myself, Buddy, and the children uh, scuba certified. I don't think we'll do that in Conroe, though. We'll probably go up to That'll be up in Huntsville. Huntsville, that's right. Um, but things like that. So kind of getting to experience going from our farmhouse to the camper size and then of course the camper size to a catamaran is such a great transition in our opinion versus going from a sticks and bricks down to a catamaran that could probably be shell shock so uh, this will give us an opportunity to mentally get used to uh, being in that size of space for longer periods of time than just when we go camping yeah um, so yeah, the, the next couple of videos will be about kind of sailing and boats and stuff like that. All of us experiencing that together. Um, and then it'll be a mix of, you know, us doing our side by side stuff, camping to living in the camper, to homeschooling, to, you know, it'll be a mixture of stuff, hopefully some sailing stuff in there as well. Uh, we do have in March, we're going out with some friends in the Bahamas for, about from a week the, from the program from the program for about a week to go on their boat so there'll be a lot of there'll be a couple of videos probably on that um so we just want to give you guys an update um obviously i don't want to take up too much time with this video because it's just us sitting here talking not too much action i don't want to lose anybody's interest so 
Uh, if you have questions, drop them in the comments. We'll be paying attention to that more now because uh, we're trying to make this sort of a more regular YouTube thing. Uh, we're trying to get a handle on it. Um, obviously, if you want to see what we're doing on the day-to-day, -day, Instagram, uh, what other socials do we have? I do have tic Instagram and TikTok. Uh, Instagram, for sure, I'm going to try and post more in reference to um, shorts, uh, essentially, of the YouTube kind of take. Um, so I would say Freeman underscore bound um, on Instagram, but I'll also link that in this video, too. Yeah, and I also want to say, just real quick before we end it, that this is not our first... Uh, we've always sort of had the idea to get live out of the norms, get out of the rat race, uh, not be subjected to the societal norms of what you have to do in life to be successful and all this other stuff. So we've we've always had this, and we'll talk about it more, I'm sure, in the future. But uh, this isn't our first rodeo. <laughs> yeah, we've always kind of been this sort of idea. Sort of idea has always been in the back of our heads. So this is not uh, it's not something we just woke up one day and decided to do. Sailing uh, a catamaran is just a, a different vessel. Uh, we were going to do this uh, with an RV uh, a couple years ago. Um, so now we're just kind of on to the next chapter in this journey of life. So we hope that you guys follow along. So like and subscribe and hit the notification so that you can keep up with any of the new videos that we post. And hopefully yeah, there will be more of them. And if y'all have <laughs> any comments about how we could do these things better, please let us know because we are not experienced at it and we are very new. Not at all. So, all right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you watching. Thank you. Bye. Bye.